My name is Julie Donahue. I'm the Concord Principal. I've been lucky enough to be here for almost six years. Um, I've been the principal for just about five years now. Um, I really believe Concord is in its renaissance. We have had a lot of changes over the past three years since the high school has closed and we're so lucky to have a committed, passionate staff who works tirelessly to provide education for all kids to meet every student where they need, where they are academically, socially, behaviorally, and beyond. We really, I really strongly believe in providing alternative learning opportunities for students. Hands-on, arts-focused, outside, getting their hands dirty. Those are the things that kids remember about school. I think that it's so important that we have engaged students and we really believe here that compliance does not equal engagement. Students should be up, moving, have their hands on whatever projects they're learning about and that's how they're going to remember. To prepare kids for a 21st century, the 21st century, we really need to change the way that we do things and that's what we're doing here at Concord. We know that the content is at their fingertips. Anyone can Google anything they want and find whatever and it's what you do with the content that's important and that's really what we're trying to instill in students. We, um, we know here that it's our job to foster community. We know that it's our job to instill lifelong transferable skills into these kids and at the end of the day it's the most important thing is to see joyful engaged kids in everything that they do. Hi, I'm Mrs. Burt, the first grade teacher at Concord School. And I'm Jane Elliott. I teach two and three. Um, so Mrs. Elliott, what are some things that you do to make sure that you meet all the needs of your students? Well, I always start every year off with a lot of assessments. So I assess in reading, writing, math, spelling, and then I group my kids according to how those results um, come out. And then I do a lot of center work a lot of formative assessments and regrouping and moving kids around. So it's ongoing. I'm constantly assessing and checking out where they are. So for me it's the same. Mm -hmm. I would say that I do the same. But then the assessments throughout the year I really like because it helps me to be able to really celebrate those successes and oh, see yeah. how far they've come. Yeah, I love to do my assessments in the fall, the big ones, and then do it in, in December and see the growth. I mean, I personally feel like, well, I'm doing something right, this is great. But also for the kids, they love to see that too. It's they a do love deal. that. Um, another way that I try to make sure that I meet their needs is every morning when they come in, I like to meet them at the door with a smile, maybe a hug. And it gives you a feel to see how the day is going to go and who needs a little more yes, attention right off the bat. So Megan, how do you ensure that your kids are prepared for the next grade? I feel like a lot of the focus that I do in first grade, besides for making sure that they're meeting the expected standards in math and reading and writing, but I think it's very important that they leave first grade as strong, confident, independent, caring individuals. Um, and so we do a lot of work building yeah. their confidence and their independence and just building that Community, community yeah. in our classroom. Yeah. One of the things that I really like about our relationship mm -hmm. is that the second and third grade group, and even when you're just second grade, yeah. we do a lot of things with the first graders so that um, they have a relationship with mm -hmm. you before they come to you. Yeah. So they're not, it's not a total unknown world when they come no, to you. No, it's in the nice fall. that they do. They're I very like familiar. That. Concord School really helped me plan for high school by giving us the chancing, the chances of going to, dif going to the different schools and helping us get our personal learning plan. We started out the year with writing down questions and so far we've asked around six or seven high schools all those questions that we had and they all answered them as they came to our class or we went to meet them. Right, like Concord, they tell us, like, this is what you should expect for high school, and we're going to prepare you now. I'm Molly Tobin. I am the music teacher at the Concord School. I'm Grace Hall. I'm in seventh grade, and I'm Sebastian in the Little Mermaid. I'm Laura Gerard. I'm in eighth grade, and I'm Scuttle in the Little Mermaid. <laughs> the Little Mermaid is our middle school musical this year. 
The musical is a student-centered project, which means that every student in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade has a role in the production, whether it is as an actor on the stage or in a separate group. Um, we have a sets, props, and costumes group that helps to design the sets, the props, and the costumes with our art teacher, Mrs. Huntington. We have a lights and sound crew um, that help our actors um, with their microphones and with the spotlight and with all the lighting cues. And that group is run by our PE teacher, Coach Davis. And we also have a publicity group. Um, and that group of kids is involved in just getting the word out about the show, designing the programs, um, creating flyers, reaching out and inviting members of our community. And we try and give the students as much choice as possible in what group they're involved in. And um, I think that the experience is an incredibly valuable one. I think the kids have a lot of ownership in the project and um, just every year it seems to get more fun and <laughs> more creative. This year I got the chance to like be a lead role, which I think was because over the years I've known that like you can't be nervous on stage and if you are you have like less of a chance of like doing good but if you're like confident in yourself then you know that you're gonna do good. So I'm a new student at Concord School. I've not never been in a play. This is my first play ever and I really enjoy doing it. It's actually the highlight of my day. I really love rehearsals and it's the best part. I'm Andrea Fressi, and I am the guidance counselor here at Concord School. I also have the honor to be able to teach an elective to the middle schools in a bakery that the school has created for us. Um, this is? I'm Lane Stone, and I took her baking class. It was fun because we use a lot of the recipes and stuff, and we take the pricing, so like you have the sugar, and you take that and you add it to the price of what you made. So we made chocolate chip cookies. And we end up selling them in a bake sale weekly to the rest of the students, only at cost. Um, then that money is put back into our budget so that we can buy more ingredients. Um, I find that having a baking class is really good for the students in, in other ways as besides just the bakery. They use measurements and fractions and um, adding, multiplying, dividing in their math classes. They show and learn interactions between baking soda, baking powder in ways that are then replicated in science classes. Um, so this class just blends in with other classes as well. This year, a really exciting thing that we're doing is a school-wide theme of sustainability. And for the first trimester, we all focused on a science project in each classroom that would reduce the carbon footprint of our school. It's been a really awesome um, opportunity to see the kids working on a collaborative project. Um, the EA team broke up in um, to different classrooms. I was um, able to work with eighth grade and our project uh, I thought went really, really well. We learned a lot. Kiara, do you want to talk a little bit about our project? Our project, we wanted to reduce the amount of recycling that went in the trash at our sports event. We're planning on adding recycling bins at our basketball games and hopefully at our soccer games too. Yeah, the sixth grade, I worked with the sixth grade and um, we were working on reducing the amount of paper usage here at Concord School. Ava was in uh, that group with me. So we wanted to re reduce the amount of paper usage that we um, used in the school because we were concerned about how much money it cost us and how much it affected the carbon footprint and the land. Uh, Sierra, you want to talk about what seventh grade did? Yeah. We did aquaponics and one of our actual main parts was our filters. Instead of using a regular filter with nets and a bunch of other stuff, we used plants and coal type beads to go into the filter with it so it reproduces plants also.
We were going to talk a little bit about our community meetings, which have been a huge success this year. Um, and the essential arts team or the EA team has been running those all year. We flip flop between a student led community meeting and a teacher led community meeting. The student led community meetings really um, were trying to teach these transferable skills or 21st century um, critical skills that are so important to. Um, our students to have later in life, like things like problem solving and communication. Um, and so th that is the purpose for the community meetings for the student-led. Um, the teacher-led are very different. We, our goal is to dovetail into our school-wide theme and into our genius hour that we do weekly. I am Corbin. And you, are, you are? I am Michaela. And I'm Olivia. I'm Kaden. And this is Z. And I'm Mrs. Ross. We're here because we want to share our story about supporting our new Harvest of the Month program at the Concord School. And we want to let the cooking crew tell the story of what they did the last couple months to introduce some new foods. Caden, why don't you tell everybody what were the two new foods that we sampled here at Concord School? Um, there was a taste test of kale chips and um, sweet potato fries. We also cooked the kale chips and the sweet potato fries for people to enjoy and um, try new foods that they have never tried before. We're so proud of all that we have accomplished here at Concord School. If you've not been up to 173 School Street in the past couple of years, we would encourage you to drive up and give our campus a tour. We are always happy to show off our child-centered progressive education. Thanks for watching.